So how does that help us? Let's say we need to find 7 sixteenths of an inch. So start with what you know. Everyone knows where the half inch mark is, halfway across. Follow the rule, double the denominator, we can find one fourth. Follow the rule, double the denominator, we can find one eighth. Follow the rule, double the denominator, we find one sixteenth. Now we have our sixteenths, we just need seven of them. So we're going to count this distance, one sixteenth, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another example, we need to find five eighths of an inch. So we start with a half. Half of a half is one fourth, the bottom number doubles. Half of a fourth, one eighth, because the bottom number doubled. Now we know from zero to one eighth, there's one eighth, so we go that distance five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's follow this procedure on a tape measure. We've got the same distance here, one inch, but we're going from one inch to two inches, but an inch is an inch. Doesn't matter what inch we're looking at. So we want to start by orienting ourselves, finding one half inch. Then we follow the rule of DD, double the denominator, to get to the fraction that we need. Half of a half is a quarter, half of a quarter is an eighth. So if we needed to get down to eighths, then we'd look at that distance and we'd count the numerator. Let's say we need three eighths, we'd count one, two, three. So another example, let's say we need to find a half inch. Well, a half is the easy one, right? But I'm gonna use these blocks as a, as a visual guide. This is a board that's ripped down to one half inch from here to here. So you can see that if we need to find a half, we go halfway across. Right here is a half inch. There's one half, and there would be two halves. Next, let's say we need to find three quarters. So we start with what we know, find a half inch, follow the rule. We need to get down to quarters, so we're going to double the denominator. Two times two is four. Halfway across, it's one fourth. Now we need three quarters, so I'm going to use this visual again. This is a one quarter inch rip. So line that up, there's the one fourth. We're going to count that distance because the top number is three for three fourths. Count that three times. One, two, three. So right there is three fourths. Next, let's find seven eighths. Start by finding one half. Half of that is one fourth. Half of that is one eighth. We need seven eighths. So let's use our guide again. This is an eighth inch stick. Line that up here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right there is seven eighths. Let's find eleven sixteenths. So we go to the half inch mark. Half of that's one fourth, one eighth, half of that's one sixteenth. So we found one sixteenth. This is our one sixteenth inch rip. We'll line that up. We need to count 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right there.